If you love making multicolored granny squares like this, but hate having to sew in all the ends, then this is the video for you. I'm going to show you how to make a granny square like this, where I haven't sewn in any ends at all. All there is left to sew in is this last strand just here, and it's all using techniques throughout the square. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial where I will show you just how to do this for yourself. I'm going to make this square using these four colors here, but of course you can use any colors that you desire and you can keep just adding more and more colors if you want to make a really large granny square. It's totally up to you. The same techniques apply for each of the rounds. So once you get the techniques down, you can just customize this however you prefer. So let's get started with round one. So for round one, we're going to start off with a magic ring or a magic circle as it's known. We're going to lay the yarn over our hand, so with the palm facing up, and you want to make sure that you've got a good tail end here. We're going to go ahead and wrap the yarn around our finger, like so. We're going to create an X on the side of our finger, and then we'll have two strands on our finger just like so. We're going to insert the hook underneath that first strand, pull the second strand through, twist the hook and then grab the working yarn and pull through to create a chain. That will just secure the magic ring for now. Now for this granny square we're going to start off with a chain three, so we've done one, we'll chain two and three, and this is going to count as our treble crochet, which is UK terms. In the US, this is known as a double crochet. What we want to do now is actually take this tail end, and then we want to follow round the circle, and then bring it round so we're creating a double circle for our magic ring and we're going to be crocheting over that double circle. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do our two treble crochets, so yarn over into that center circle, catching that double ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And then another one, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. We will create our corner, so I'm going to chain three for this granny square, and then we'll do our three treble crochets. One, two, and three. As this video isn't aimed at absolute beginners, I won't be going too much into the construction of the actual granny square itself, more the techniques of how to get the no tails. So please make sure you check my other video if you need a more step-by-step -step version. We'll then create our corner chain three and work our three trebles. One, two, and three. I'm just going to start cinching in that center circle. So just pulling on that tail end. I'm going to work my corner again and work three trebles. One, two, and three. At this point, we've finished all the stitches that is going into that very center circle. So I'm going to pull that fully closed, like so. Finish off that corner, chain three, and join with a slip stitch into that very first stitch. And then we can go ahead and fasten off. So I'm going to yarn over, grab my scissors, and snip off. You want to leave your tail end slightly longer than you would do normally for this technique. And then you can pull out your hook. So now for this very first round, 
because we did the double circle, we have indeed crocheted in that twice uh, or for the double circle. What I'm going to do with this one is just insert my crochet hook into some of those stitches. So going back three or four stitches, stopping before the stitch next to where this is coming out. And then you can just go ahead and pull that through. And then you could do the same again if you like. I know this bit is kind of similar to sewing in, but in actual fact, it's the only place that we do this. So this has gone round twice in the magic ring and then we've gone back the opposite way. So this is now nice and secure. You can go ahead and snip off that tail end like so. So now that we have finished this round, we're gonna take this tail end across to this next corner. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go into the top of the stitch and pull that through into the top of the next stitch and pull through and then into the top of the next stitch and pull through. And you can just go into this chain if you want to. We want to kind of bring it into the beginning of this, um, of this corner. So we have it there. We're now going to turn our work and then we're going to be starting in this corner where this tail end is. So to do this, we are going to take our next colour. So I'm going to insert my hook and pull that through. We want to leave a really good tail end on these and we want to make sure that this yarn is facing in the opposite direction that we're going to work first of all. I'm now going to fasten this on, which creates a knot super secure in our work. We want that to start at the edge of this corner. We're going to take the tail end and hold it with our working yarn and then take the um, colour A, the first colour, and lay it down in the direction that we're now going to work. So insert your hook and then grab the yarn and pull it through. And then we're going to chain one with both strands, chain two with both strands, and then chain a third with just your working yarn. So you can drop the tail end for now. We're now going to work our two treble crochets. So we're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, pick up that tail end again of the uh, color that we're using, yarn over, pull through two loops, drop the tail end, yarn over, pull through those two loops on the hook. Again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, pick up the tail end, yarn over, pull through two loops, drop the tail end and yarn over, pull through those last two loops. And we've just made our three trebles just here. We'll chain three for our corner. And then we're going to do our three trebles working over those tail ends from the first round and the tail end from the second round. Now both of these tail ends are really secure. This first round has been weaved in in one direction. It has a knot and then we've crocheted over in the other direction. This second colour has been secured with a knot, crocheted in with a chain and it's been worked into these first two treble crochets. It is not going anywhere. Now it's time to finish off the rest of the granny square. So I'm going to chain one, 
and then work my next corner with the three trebles. Chain three and three trebles. There's my third one. Chain one to move over to the next corner and work my corner. Three trebles. Two. Three. Chain three. And three trebles. And then we have one final corner. So chain one, move over. Three trebles. Chain three and three trebles. One, two, and three. Chain one and slip stitch into the top of that first chain three. And then we can go ahead and fasten off, leaving a good tail end. We're going to take this tail end and just weave it into the tops of the stitches until we get to the next chain three space. You really don't need to be too precious with this. The aim is just to wrap it around some of those stitches just to make it secure and get it into the place where we want it to be, which is in this next chain three space because now we're going to turn the work and we're going to start in this corner space just here. But before we do that, we know these tail ends are nice and secure so we can fasten them off. Just give it a little bit of a pull just so they sit nicely underneath those stitches. And now we can begin round three. So we're going to keep this laid in the opposite direction to what we're working. We're going to take our next color and we're going to repeat the same thing. So we're going to bring that yarn through, giving a nice tail end because we now know what we need to do. We need to allow that length so that we can get it all in. We're going to hold the tail end and the working yarn together. And then we're going to bring back the last color in and work in the same direction, lay it down working in the same direction. We'll go into that corner space with both strands, yarn over and pull through, and then chain two, one, two, drop the tail end. and then use the third one to chain three. We're now going to do those two treble crochets incorporating the tail end. So it's yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, pick up the tail end, yarn over, pull through two, drop the tail end, yarn over, pull through two, and then our next treble crochet, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, pick up the tail end, yarn over, pull through two, drop the tail end, and yarn over, pull through those last two stitches. Now lay both strands down across the um, rest of this corner space, chain three for the corner, and then work three treble crochets into that corner space. One, two, and three. We can drop those tail ends now. We're going to chain one to move over onto the next space and work three trebles. Chain one work over to the corner space and work our corner, three trebles, 
chain three, and three trebles. And we can continue with this round. So chain one, three trebles, chain one, work the corner, which is three trebles, chain three, and three trebles, chain one, three trebles, Chain one, work the corner. So that's three trebles, chain three, and three trebles. Chain one. three trebles, chain one and join with a slip stitch to that next stitch, fasten off, leaving a good tail end and then we're going to move this tail end across to the next corner space. So top of the stitch, pull through, top of the stitch, pull through, into the chain, and I'm gonna go into this last bit of the chain here. Just give that a bit of a pull, turn the work, and then these secure tail ends here can be fastened off. And then we are ready for the next round. So again, this is the same principle as what I've shown you on the two rounds. And you do end up when you do more uh, with a lovely already sewn in granny square. And this saves so much time. Once you get to grips with it, you can do it really without thinking about it. And it might take you a tiny bit longer to do your granny square, especially when you're first learning this technique. Uh, but once you get well away, it is so much easier. And it's really, really secure as well. So I really hope that you like these tips. Make sure that you leave me a comment if you did. And if you liked this pro technique, then you might also like this one too.